This is a big one. Oh my gosh, do y'all see that? Do y'all, hold up, do y'all see that? Hold up. All right, guys, so we are here at this pond. I just caught me a little small one. You already know, like a little, what we call a point two two. you know. You know, it's a little insiders for us, you know, FRB boys, but we call that a little point two two. you know what I'm saying? I caught him right off that wood, so I'm going to get after it, and I caught him. So I'm going to get back into here. We're going to try to catch us another one because I know there's plenty of more. There's a lot of wood around here, and there's a lot of bass feeding. It's a nice day. So, yeah, so we get back to it. Wait, I, gotta, I gotta get a picture first. Hold up. Got him back in the water. Get that on Snapchat real quick. Y'all, yeah, go follow me on Snapchat, um, KDS underscore 28. Again, KDS underscore 28. Put that on my story. Right. A little bit of, just a little swim bait with a little flathead, jig head. You know, and that's what, you know, this time I thought they were betting, but it seems like they're not betting anymore. Um, I see a lot of the little baby bass, so it might be a, a few betting, but, um, I think I see one right now. Um, and I was just swimming this thing. I wasn't doing much. But nothing special. Just swimming it. And that bass came up and ate it. So hopefully I can get another one on camera. Because that one happened real quick. Doesn't even expect it. That was like literally my third cast here. They didn't have the camera rolling. So yeah, let's see if I can get another one. I'm just fishing this wood because I know there's a lot of bass on this wood. And I'm just fishing this wood. Uh, I think another one just attacked it. Yeah, another one just attacked it. Um, let's come out a little bit more. Oh, got another one. Yeah. Caught another one, baby, on camera, finally, baby. All right, hopefully y'all seen that. That camera angle was terrible. Did not put the camera back where it should have been, probably facing the ground. But finally got that one on camera. Um, uh, hopefully it got it on camera. I don't know if it was facing the right way, but there you go, another one, another small one, what we call a, basically a point two two, basically a baby, a little dink, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it seemed like they got a little scar. It seemed like that bass has been attacked before. But yeah, this, this is the second day, the second bass of the day. Um, glad I came out to this pond. You know, this pond that produces a lot of big ones. Um, and obviously some small ones too, but they usually produce a lot of big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on my snap too, you know. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's a little Snapchat story. You gotta do it for the Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Like I just said before, follow me on Snapchat. But yeah, got me another one, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully I can get a bigger one than this. Um, cause this is a baby, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm looking for the, for the honchos. Here you go, wait, let's hold it, see if you get that release. Here he goes. And I'm literally just fishing off this wood right here and I, is that another one? I think I see another one too. But yeah, it's a nice neighborhood down here. Um, not too many people pressure this area too much. Um, a lot of older folks, so. So I know that the bass fishing is, is really good. Um, not really pressured. Uh, I know I caught some two pounders out of here, some three pounders, and I know some friends that caught some sixes, some fives and sixes out of here. So I know some big ones in here. Oh, oh, I know y'all guys just saw that. That was the biggest wake on a, oh my gosh. That was, that might've been a monster. 
That might have been a monster. That might have been a monster. Literally, y'all saw that. Oh my God. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that one, bro. It's a pounder, but I swear he waked on it like a like a two or three pounder ba pound bass, bro. I can't believe, bro. Bro, look, these bass are feeding, and they're feeding like crazy, bro. Look at that. Look at that bass, bro. Oh my gosh, it's a pounder at least, man. It's at least a pounder. I'm just using that swim bait, just swimming it. I'm not doing much. Literally just swimming that, and I swear he just picked it up. First time he missed it, and back. Um, let's see if we can get, get that release on that. Yeah, so he, he swam off well, pretty good. Literally, like I showed you, I'm going to show you exactly again what I'm using. I'm not using nothing special. Literally, he, these fats are feeding on, I guess, these fry that they, you know, these. I know the bluegill have spawned in this, in this pond because I saw some bluegill chase, I mean, running away when I came up. But, so that's what I think they're doing. Um, this is crazy. They're just waking on bass like this. Um, loop type bait and just jerk bait it. But today I know the water was murky. And I knew these, these bass were, were going to were going to um, need a little bit more vibration. And you see they put out. Oh, got me another one. Oh, what is that? Crappy? Oh, guys, that's a crappy. <laughs> oh, my gosh, bro. Today is going to be a good day. Oh. I was gonna bring my dad out here, but he was at a funeral. Too bad he couldn't be here. But, oh, that's a nice crappy too. Let me not stab myself. Let me get that all straight. I'm literally like, this is 12 minutes in recording. Like, and this is crazy, bro. Like I'm literally catching them like crazy. And this is a decent sized crappy. Like, like this is a good one. This is a big one. Like I said, there's crappy in here. There's bluegill. But literally, like, this is crazy. I'm just catching them like this. It's crazy. I'm about to put this one on my snap, too, because I literally haven't fished in so long that, like, this is this is all craziness, bro. Literally. I, I didn't even bring my big camera because I knew I left my big camera at school. I knew I wasn't even going to be fishing. But I saw the day I said I had to come fish. I'm going to put that one on. This is a big one. Oh, my gosh. Do y'all see that? Do y'all, hold up, do y'all see that? Hold up. Oh my gosh, bro, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's get a close up. Oh my gosh, that was in the middle of the pond, bro. Oh my gosh, bro, I literally cast out there. I was like, did I'm hung? That, a big one, hold up. Hold on, don't do nothing. Don't do nothing stupid. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna get you right. Ugh. Bro, look at that bass, bro. What the hell? Oh my gosh, let me, let me get these out of here. Oh my gosh. Literally just casted this jerk, this jerk bake out of here. And he just hammered it, bro. He hammered it, bro. Oh, my. I didn't even have the GoPro running. I just had to put the GoPro on. This bass is huge. This has to be like a three or four pounder, bro. The biggest bass I've ever caught, man. Look at his gut. I'm trying to get these. And these, these things keep locking. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness, bro. Look at that gut. My mom's calling. I can't call right now. Oh my gosh. I gotta get this one snap and a picture. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a big one. That's my that's my clickbait right there. Oh my gosh, let me get him back in the water. Oh my 
gosh, y'all see that? Did y'all see that? Oh, I wish I had the camera running. He had hit it, bro. He looked like a tank. He felt like a tank, literally. Bro, that's probably my biggest bass. That had to be like a three or four pounder, bro. My, my biggest bass is like a three pounder, almost a four, bro. I've caught plenty of threes, like almost fours. But I think that was a four just because of his gut, bro. I don't know what he's been eating. Literally just came off the jerk bait. I jerked it a few times and literally he attacked it, bro. Literally in the middle of this pond. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. That was crazy. I had to get the camera up because I didn't have the camera running. That's how crazy that thing was, bro. I literally just got out of this spot, got the jerk bait on, just came out there to make sure it was running good. You know, then I had to tune the bait up, but didn't have to tune that bait up. He 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 hit it, bro. That's why I like that's why I like fishing these jerk baits. It's a Rapala, a Shad Rap by Rapala. Rapalo, doesn't really matter how, what y'all call it. Oh my gosh, bro. Literally, it's a, it's a this, that, and that. Chasing bluegills and shad. I don't know if there's many shad in here, but I know there's a lot of bluegill. And sometimes I like to do different cadences with the jerk. Like jerk, jerk, pause. Jerk, jerk, and reel. Just keep jerking if they like that faster pace, like a moving bluegill. I mean, moving a moving bait um, that's running away. Um, but I like to just jerk, jerk, and it just likes to, it twirls. Like, it loves to twirl when you just stop. It. Oh, oh, another one. Can y'all see that? What'd I say? Oh, snap. Let me go ahead and get him. Literally, y'all saw that. That was that jerk, jerk, and he came off of that. He also, he kind of foul hooked, but let's see if I have it on video. Yeah. See if he's kind of foul hooked, but. Oh, let me go ahead and unhook them. But yeah, that's another one. That's another one, baby. It's a little baby, what we call a point two two. Oh my gosh, bro, that's crazy, bro. It's crazy that we're catching them like this. And we're gonna give him a, a good old release, you know? You know, a good release. But um, yeah, this GoPro is about to run out of memory, so I'm gonna cut it off and cut it back on when I catch another one because I don't have much memory on this 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 card. So yeah, I'll see y'all guys when I, I mean, I'll update y'all guys as soon as I get another one. Hi right, guys, so we out here, we're actually walking out, walking back to the truck, and just a recap of the day. Um, basically, you know, we caught about five, five, six fish. I don't know exactly how many we caught, but yeah, we caught that big one. Um, we caught, caught that big one. We caught a few on the swim bait, caught a few on the jerk bait, and that big one on the jerk bait. And I, I'm telling you, when he hit, he felt like a like a tank. At first, I thought I was hung, but I was like, no, nah, it's moving. And I had to turn that camera on, and yeah, I had to get rolling because that was a nice one. Um, so, yeah, we got that on video. We got us a nice one. Um, and, you know, it's my first time, actually, first bass I caught this year was on camera. So I'm glad I, I caught, a, caught my bass, first bass of the year and everything like that. You know, I've been busy, so I haven't been fishing that much. Like I should be, but yeah, y'all boys, stay tuned. Watch my other videos. My previous video is gonna show up after this. After I'm done talking, please go watch my hunting videos. I got some few hunting videos. I got some fishing videos from um about two years ago. So yeah, go watch those too. Um, like a um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, comment down below what y'all want to see next or what I should improve on. Something you know, something that that can help me. And yeah, so I'll see y'all guys later. This is Pro Gunners Outdoors. I'm your host, Kai Sam, and I'm out.